Welcome everybody to another Taint Peter Boss Guide for The Last Faith. Today we're going to fight Burnt Apostate, who's just a real nasty piece of shit lady. But guess what? We're going to take that little crown of antlers or whatever that she's wearing, and we're going to cram it right up her butt. And that red rose right there that's on fire, also going up her butt. So here's the thing. Um... There's two phases to this fight, which is pretty typical. First phase, I think, is actually fairly easy to dodge. Second phase, uh, tougher, much tougher. Um, and here's the thing. This is only my second or third time fighting her, and I beat her here. I'll make a better video later, but I wanted to get this up, so I will warn you. She does kick my ass a little bit here. However, I do win at the end, so maybe you can learn from some of my mistakes as I kind of feel her out and figure out her patterns. Uh, we can watch it together, and I'll just kind of give you the rundown on what I learned and how I was able to beat her. So these things will seek you out. See, they'll even go underground and get you. Um, so when you start to see her shoot fire, just get away, and then they're very easy to dodge. This thrusting sword attack, it always comes in twos. Usually she'll do one forward, and then she'll turn around and thrust right back the way she came. Best way to get through it is just to dodge right through her. Use your iframes to get right through. Don't worry about jumping over her. You can do that, but rolling it puts you look in a great position. She'll come back to just roll right back and then give her a few free hits right here. Once in a while, she'll thrust forward and then she'll come back with a like overhead slash attack. Um, that one's pretty easy to dodge too. Just keep an eye out for it. I'll try to point it out later. Okay, here's the flames again. I always just jump over each of them and they're actually not so bad. In the second phase, there will be four of those. Right now there's only three. Pretty easy to dodge and they burn themselves out if you just stay away for a couple seconds. This. Okay, so... Usually I would say try to roll under her rather than away from her because she's pretty good at finding you with that plunging attack. Here we see this thrust again. Um, so when she goes up in the air and she's going to come down, usually roll towards her will be your safest bet. There's the backward slash attack I was telling you about. This is kind of a marathon fight too, I will say. She takes a while to beat. It may just because... You know, for me, I, I'm using my whip. See, I got lucky right there, by the way. She should have probably hit me with that because I rolled away, but I got lucky and jumped at the last minute. Um, usually, like I said, roll towards. Here we go. Yeah, so what I was saying is that maybe because I'm using this whip, it's not doing a ton of damage. This fight seems to take forever, but tenacity and just getting out of the way of these big attacks will pretty much carry the day for you. Watch, now roll towards. There we go. That's the way. Much safer. You'll see I cleared her by a far bigger margin than when I was trying to just run away from her. Ooh, backward slash attack. So that brings up a good point. Try not to get caught in the corners on this fight. Try to keep it in the middle because she has those attacks like that that'll seek you out. She has slashes. She has jumps. Being stuck in the corner is not a great spot for you. But roll in. Much better. Uh, she's dangerous in corners. So if you can keep her kind of like that you have a lot more room to operate. And we're almost done with phase one here. Boom, she's been whipped into submission. That's what we like to see. Now I'm going to get away. And phase two, right? There's going to be a lot of fire. She's got fire on her sword. She's got fire tornadoes coming down from the sky. She's going to do that, which always has a fire wave. I learned that the hard way right there. She goes up. She plunges down. A fire wave is sure to follow. So roll away and then jump. She's also going to jump up and not come down, which signifies a bunch of tornadoes. All you got to do is let them hit and then usually step to the side. They're always telegraphed by little markings on the ground right before they hit. There's that fire wave again. Yeah, so you'll notice I do learn to dodge that <laughs> pretty quickly here. She goes, boom, and we jump over it. <clears throat> exactly. We're going to roll away and jump. So here she just repeats the straight thrusting attack from phase one, only this time her sword is on fire, not that much different. That's a new one. She sends sort of a starburst of fire um, bolts. And that one I did struggle, you'll notice, to learn to avoid. She got me quite a few times with that, but hopefully you can learn from my mistakes, see it coming, and get out of the way. The best thing to do seems to be to jump. Rolling doesn't seem to help you much with that particular attack. And like I said, once again, these back and forth thrusts seem to be the best opportunity for you to get in there and just give her some free hits. Here's the seeking fireballs again. You'll notice this time there's four. Uh, a little bit tougher to get away from, but still really not that bad. Of all her attacks, that one's one of the easiest to avoid. 
Yeah, and once again, we're going to just pay attention here, move to the side when you see it starting to come from under you, like we're doing. Pretty damn easy. She'll fall down there. Always another wave of fire. Like pretty much any time she comes down from the sky, there's going to be a wave of fire that comes out. So just be ready to jump it. And like I said earlier, it's just kind of a long fight. It's like a battle of attrition with her. It's kind of just like, can you survive this long enough? And I would say that you can. I mean, once you kind of learn these, it's actually not that hard of a boss. Of all the bosses in this game, I think she just takes a while, but is not nearly as um, damaging or hard hitting as some of the other bosses that we've come up against. Like getting hit by her stuff is not the worst punishment in the world. It's just that it goes on for so goddamn long that she will wear you down. Um, so it's kind of just like, who's going to wear who down first? You'll see, look, that corner being stuck over there did not help me. I was lucky to get away from those there. Ooh. <clears throat> and you'll also see I'm, I am struggling with that uh, fire burst, star burst thing where all the different fireballs come out from her. The rest of this, though, you can tell I'm kind of like getting the hang of it. And I bet you that if you are a build with a little bit of a stronger weapon, and you watch this video and you just kind of take this in, you will probably beat her quicker than I'm beating her. <clears throat> but hopefully it's helping for you to see all of the attacks she uses on full display, watching what happens when I get hit by them, watching how I get around them when I finally learn to. Not so bad. Yep, and there you realize I was way too close for when she started that fireball attack. Got a little greedy, just kept hitting when I probably should have gotten out of there. Which is like a big part of all these boss battles in, in The Last Faith and games like it. Just getting in enough hits and then getting out in a timely manner. Because the longer you hang out, eventually they're going to strike back, right? And you're going to get smacked down. You can see it getting greedy there. But then I did, I did run away and finally I dodged one of those goddamn fireballs. And here I'm looking and realizing I have no more heals left and I'm almost dead. So I'm going to get a little more aggressive with her just to try to end this. I feel like I got lucky here that this was the attack she chose because once again, so easy to dodge. Got very lucky right there, jumped that, and then I think it's lights out for burn apostate. And there you go. So like I said, I mean, she took me right down to my last heal in this fight. And um, if and when I do another playthrough, which I plan to, I think I'll be able to beat her much more quickly now that I kind of know the tricks of the trade. But I was lucky enough to be recording on my first playthrough, which is this, when I beat her. And I wanted to put this up just in case anybody's struggling with her to help you learn from my mistakes. So anyway, guys, that is a little Tink Peter sort of mini guide to the burnt apostate in The Last Faith. I hope it helped you. I'll see you next time.